Greetings, Internet. Justin here. And today I'm going to go over the very basics of Adobe Photoshop and more. And we're starting now. Today I'm going to do something very basic. Currently I'm uh, working over creating a very basic logo for my upcoming project that I have with a friend of mine. We're going to do a podcast. So that, that four arrow button, that is the move button. You're going to want to use that to to select items to copy and paste copy and paste for photoshop is your friend now if you want to do some elaborate things first of all before you do elaborate things make sure you do something that i have not realized that i should have done in this make multiple layers because if you mess up on one layer you can just remove it all together and it won't ruin the whole design i drew a bit of an arrow to show where the layer uh, button is but click on that button it should say layers on it and yeah so just hit that make make a, a couple if if you want, you know, there's there's no limit. You can just tap 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 a room. Also, when when you create these shapes, they are vectors. So, and I know these these are terms that are really strange. They're still pretty strange to me, but vectors cannot be cannot be modified the way the way that you can just modify the actual picture but when you click on it it'll give you this notification oh are you sure you want to do this stuff to this uh all it's saying is after you after you do this after you click this button it's going to turn it from a vector to a to a raster or it's going to rasterize it that way you can add detail and texture to whatever design or or image that you have in your picture plane uh on this so don't worry about that unless you are trying to make a vector graphic design uh, and I will probably do vector graphic videos in the future. But for now, it's okay to rasterize if, if you're doing just like something that does not require vectorization. Uh, now, what vector, the difference between vector and rasters are raster looks definitely different if you obscure it change the scale or distort it but vector stays the stays the same so you can resize it any way you want you can stretch it out it's going to keep the smoothness that it had while rasterizing it will kind of give little blemishes of texture <laughs> texture default uh defectiveness or whatever when when you create it is or when you change it that's the difference if you're trying to keep a smooth color palette keep everything the same but you forgot exactly where what your color was i mean 
sure, we all know red is red and blue is blue, whatever, unless you, you have, like, color blind issues, but that's a different story. But, you know, there's different shades, and that little color dot might be in a very unique place that it's hard to, to remember how to get to there. If you use the color picker tool, which is the little eyedropper looking thing to the, to the left of my mouse at this moment, that it is the mouse, it is the, the all the way left of the mouse. But you use that, and you can color pick a specific color on, on the picture plane, and this will help you uniform a, an image. If you have to do multiple images of the same design, uh, then um, it, will, it will be fine. That is how... You keep that uniformity with your designs, and you can have the same type of red, type of blue, type of orange, or whatever you're going for in in what your characters are wearing and what the design logo is. Um, at this point, I'm still de deciding with my partner in this hey what i was like hey what is the colors that we're gonna go with so just it's it's very helpful to to know these things now the the tool bar to the left it'll almost always be on the left hand side uh that that's where going to be where your your key tools are are going to be for you to use i primarily only use uh tools such as the lasso tool which if you uh surf encompass a subject in a picture y and uh, lasso it you can click, I believe it's control C, yes, control C to cut the image, and then you click the, the uh, move key that I, I showed you, the move tool, which was at the very beginning of this, you use that to move the, the thing and select it, and if you need to remove something in one image and put it up, make it available in another image, you can use, like I said previously in this video, the copy and paste, and you can open up multiple files up at the, the top. It's the bar closest to the picture plane you can have multiple projects on that at the same time. In a video coming up, I will show you how to do an animatic. Now, this these tools are useful. Like, most art schools will be using Adobe or an Adobe adjacent software for these tasks. Very, very little actual traditional art will be re reliance uh, from, will be required from art schools. So that's something to take into account. If you are about to start art school or a creative field of any sort, you're going to have some sort of uh, art design field that you're going to go through and I'm trying to make it easier for you because Adobe was like a foreign language to me and I hope this helped uh, I will do more of these in the future uh, I'm just trying to help people because I knew when I was going through school it, 
I didn't really have a leg up on this. And if I would have known this software like I know now, then art school would have been a lot easier starting out. I'm not I'm not teaching you the tricks of the trade of art school, but I am teaching you the tools that they use. So art school, and even if you don't want to go to art school, if you want to just pursue uh, a design or art, ma something like a career path, you can still do that without going to art school. Because I know not everybody has the ability to get that education. But if you like what I have done here today, please give it a subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button. Uh, comment for more uh, tips and tricks on what you would like to see. Different softwares. Um, you know, I, I, I'm not going to teach you what they t teach me in art school, but I can teach you how to use the tools. And that's the most important thing. All right. Thank you. Take care.